It is the 8th of the 8th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. <laughs> Start on e and &E News, KTXL Sacramento. Now the threat of radioactive water rushing our way from Japan. Quote, traces of radiation found in the area of fish. No danger, says a pro-nuclear expert. <sighs> and we know. TV, China syndrome at Fukushima plant, question mark. Recent dramatic spikes in contamination show something is changing. Has a, con has a containment structure given way, question mark? Well, we've had three major nuclear reactor meltdowns. Uh, the corium has breached through the containment and into the environment, and uh, they wonder why they're having so many problems. This has been ongoing for a couple years now. Here's a great idea. Huge island made of contaminated soil and rubble proposed off Fukushima coast. Place for disposal of radioactive debris. Quote, measures will be taken to prevent adverse impact on the ocean. Unquote. So they're going to park a man-made island packed full of radioactive debris and waste on a seismically unstable area right off the coast of a nuclear disaster. And don't worry folks, the Pacific Ocean will be just fine. The experts all say so. Fukushima reactors, quote, will become unstable if new barrier causes water buildup underground. Nuclear buildings could topple during quake. And again, they've made this big cauldron cesspool in there and the groundwater's filling up and it's becoming uh, quite difficult to operate in the Fukushima Daiichi plant. Uh, alert U.S. nuclear plant after equipment malfunction. Official, there was a little bit of smoke, so we had to declare this alert. And um, this is uh, the report out of um, Sharon Harris. Uh, they had an electrical fire in like one of the storage rooms for um, major components, and of course they had to declare an emergency. Government admits water's pouring in ocean at Fukushima is, quote, highly contaminated, going on for the last two years. Officials reveal it may have started, quote, just after the nuclear accident. That would be when containment was breached. <sighs> Arnie Gunderson, no way to stop Fukushima radioactive water going into the Pacific. It will continue for at least 20 to 30 years. And there goes Arnie with those padded gloves again. National Geographic's finally coming out two years later. Three years for contamination to reach the U.S. coast from Fukushima, scientist estimate. And uh, what's that, next year according to National Geographic? Um, with the spawning fish and uh, the currents the way they are, they're already uh, registering radioactive off the coast of the United States. Uh, senior sci scientist, 100 times more strontium than cesium in water at Fukushima plant. Strontium gets into your bones. It changes the equation for the Japanese fisheries. Not, quote, too concerned with fish. U.S. fish will be affected. That's a blatant lie. What about the way the salmon run? Water now at Fukushima plant has three times more cesium than Chernobyl's total release. That underscores the scale of this never-ending threat. And it is ongoing as is Chernobyl. And again, uh, here comes the lamestream news with uh, Fukushima actually has a problem, um, something they can't really hide anymore. Over to uh, Fukushima Diary, um, Daily News, Japan Meteorological Agency, earthquake early warning can be inaccurate due to the overquake in large areas. Apparently they had a miss 
uh, one of their sensors um, missed things, said had had a 7.2 when it was only a 6.0. We're talking about some kind of radio noise. Or false alarm caused by electric noise in ocean bottom seismometer. Um, so they just decided to abandon the seismometer. They just turned it off. And that's about all they've got going on today. And finally today, on a World Nuclear News, Fukushima Zone fully redesignated. That's right. Preparations can begin for residents return to the town of uh, Kawamata, K-A-W-A-M-A-T-A, -A near the damaged Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The town was the finally... The town was the final evacuated municipality to be redesignated. Separate from the evacuation area defined by 20 kilometer radius from Fukushima Daiichi, the area near uh, was evacuated once it was known that the radioactive particles had been carried by the wind from the damaged power plant. While limited access to the town has been permitted, Japan's Ministry of Economy, their Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, has now announced that controls on the entry to most of the Kawamata town, north, northwest of the plant, have been relaxed today. The redesignation will allow decontamination work to begin and for essential infrastructure and services to be reconstructed. Residents may return at will to visit and work without the use of protective equipment. The only restriction is that they may not stay overnight. The radiation dose rate for a person living in the area would be less than 20 millisieverts per year, the government's benchmark for permanent return. And you know these numbers are low. <sighs> That's about all I got for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, uh, please leave a comment or attach your video. Joy White Candy.